Learn about creating logo effects in CatCut PC with our in-depth video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a bouncing ball effect on your logos and images in CatCut PC. Let's dive right in. Step 1. Cropping the logo. Use this logo as an example. Add it to your timeline. Go to the crop ratio and adjust the logo to a 1 to 1 ratio. Next, head to the editing tab and select the mask option. Choose the circle mask and adjust it to fit your logo perfectly. Click basic and resize the image as needed. Step 2. Setting up the initial animation. Now, drag the logo to the top left corner of the screen, ensuring it's hidden. Create keyframes for both position and rotation at the beginning of the timeline. Move the cursor forward by about a second. Adjust the X value under the position option to make the image visible. Then drag the logo to the bottom of the screen and slightly to the right and rotate it clockwise by one full rotation. Step 3. Creating the bouncing effect. Continue by moving the cursor forward by a second. Position the logo at the top right corner and rotate it counterclockwise by one full rotation. Continue by moving the cursor forward. Moving the logo to the bottom right corner, rotating it clockwise by one full rotation. Repeat this process. Finally, move the logo to the upper right corner. Rotate it clockwise by the full rotations and hide it off screen. Step 4. Making the animation bounce back and forth. Duplicate the image and paste it to the side. Create a compound clip by right-clicking on the duplicated image and selecting Create Compound Clip. Reverse the clip by clicking on the Reverse button. This will allow the image to bounce forward and backwards seamlessly. Step 5. Adding background and sound effects. Let's use this logo as an example. Drag and drop it into the timeline. Navigate to the Effects tab. Click on Party and choose Neon Outline. You can adjust the strength if needed, but for now, I'll leave it as it is. Next, go to the Filters tab and add the BW1 filter.
Now, go to the Media Library and choose a color background. Then, moving on to Blend Mode, select Linear Burn. Now, head over to Effects tab. Add the Angel effect to the timeline. That's pretty much it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use this logo as an example. Go to Text tab. Add default text to the track. Enter text as needed and adjust the text style. Then, click the logo. Add position and size keyframe. Move the logo to the middle of the text. Enlarge and rotate it. Then, move the play cursor forward. Make the logo smaller and move it to the end of the text. Then, move the play cursor forward. Rotate the logo and move it to the beginning of the text. If the speed is too fast, we can increase the distance between the two keyframes to slow down the speed. Next, click on the logo, go to Animation, add Zoom 1 animation. Adjust the starting position of the text to the second keyframe position of the logo. Right click on the text layer, create a compound clip. Then, go to Video Mask tab. Choose Horizontal. Add Mask Keyframe. Move the play cursor forward. Move the mask line forward and let the text appear as the logo moves. Continue doing this until the text is fully rendered. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.
Let's begin by dragging and dropping the background into the timeline. Next, let's create the animation line. Head to the stock materials and drag the black background clip into the timeline. Adjust its duration as needed. Now, go to the Mask tab. Select the rectangle mask and customize it to your liking. To create the reveal effect, use keyframes. Move the playhead to one second. Add a mask keyframe. Then, move the playhead to the starting position and adjust the mask size width to 1. Your line reveal animation is now created. For the text, go to the text tab and add default text to the timeline. Type in your desired text. Customize the font size and color to suit your style. Select the text, go to the Animation tab. Choose the slide up animation style and adjust the duration to one second. Move to the end position of the line animation. Go to the Animation tab. Click out, apply the slide down animation. After setting up the text animation, create a compound clip. Then, go back to the Mask tab, select the rectangle mask, and fine-tune it for a precise reveal effect. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. For a logo reveal, follow similar steps. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Let's use this video as an example. To start, drag and drop your logo onto the layer above the video. For this demonstration, I'll be using the CatCut logo. Adjust the logo duration to match the video. To make the logo transparent, navigate to the Video Basic Settings and scroll down until you find the Blend option. 
Click on it and select the soft light option. Adjust the opacity slider until you achieve the desired level of transparency for your logo. We can also adjust the logo size as needed. And there you have it. Your logo is now transparent and seamlessly integrated into your video. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.